Hey, it's Josh with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Today, I am going to be talking about the Jack Chin 350A model concrete saw. This was sent to us free of charge, and uh, it's actually something that I used to use years ago when I was working with a mason and cutting brick and block. Uh, not this particular brand, but this type of saw. More recently, uh, we have had concrete work done here at the uh, property. I didn't have a saw like this, so I used a little grinding tool or a <clears throat> blade on a uh, circular saw. It worked, but it definitely wasn't as easy as something as powerful as this. And this one has nice rollers that would have made it a lot easier. Uh, I thought we were gonna use it on Jason's pole barn, but he's decided he's not gonna put uh, stress joints in because he's got in-floor heating and he's worried about cutting into that. But I've been working on a uh, over 100 foot long retaining wall. And when we're all said and done, we'll probably have uh, 150 to 170 feet of wall. And I'm putting these cap blocks on them. And part of it is curved. So where it's curved, these are not gonna fit together like I want them to fit. So they're gonna need to be cut. So today we're gonna unbox this saw. We're gonna make this cut here. And uh, I'll have lots more cuts I'll be making over time. But for the purpose of this video, uh, we're gonna figure out what's in the box, set it up and make our cut. So stick around. So we've got a manual, we've got our blade, which these are not cheap when you have to buy new blades. Uh, we have a pair of leather gloves, some uh, vinyl, uh, let's see, PVC goggles, and a mix container this actually takes like a 30, it's a two stroke engine, so it takes a uh, 30 to one uh, ratio, which unfortunately isn't anything else that I have mixed, uh, but is nice that they give you this small measuring container so that I can go ahead and mix up a specific batch just for this saw here. So it's packed pretty well, a huge piece of uh, styrofoam there. We have a uh, fuel funnel. We have a bag of tools here screwdriver, small wrench, three Allen keys, spark plug socket. We also have another for uh, getting the blade on and off. And then we have some tubing here for running water on uh, the blade to keep the blade from overheating. So now let's get to the, the good part here. This is a 51.7 cc motor. So it's gonna be a relatively big item it's a good size piece of equipment here okay i just got the blade on there uh, there's a button on the back that you can push that keeps the blade from spinning so that you can tighten it so you need that to lock so we're going to get some fuel mixed up and uh see if we can get this thing to crank up get our two stroke oil shake this up just a bit we've got our fuel reservoir right here and i'm going to use the funnel that came with it well so I advise putting uh, something underneath the saw because it wants to tilt back down and you don't get as much fuel there. Got a little bit of a hurry because the rain's starting to fall. So next step is to get this thing running. There's a fuel bulb down here. We've already pumped that a few times. We've got the power. Uh, there's a switch on the handle back here. And then there is a choke, which we want off until we get it started. Let's see how well this thing starts up. That's pretty quick. I'm gonna give the fuel bulb a little bit more just because we're on a brand new engine here. Let's give it a go again. Not a bad startup for a new engine. Okay, so I'm back, it's a different day. Uh, the last time that I, was, that I started this video, I did not have all of the pieces that I needed to hook up the water, which would knock down the dust. So I'm gonna show you a quick video here of what it looked like me cutting without the water running. 
And now uh, the piece that it was missing was this adapter for my hose so that I could hook up the hose to the water line to the saw. So we're gonna go ahead and make another cut here with the water running. We should see substantially less uh, in terms of dust. And um, that's the way it's intended to be used. I know in the past I'd use it the other way, uh, but for uh, both uh, safety reasons and respiratory reasons, you should use the water if you can. So it's all hooked up. Uh, I am adjusting the water flow here on my hose uh, because I wanted to have a little more fine tuning on that. You can also fine tune it here. Let's fire this up. We haven't had it started since the last, about two weeks ago. So we're gonna pump the bulb. Turn on the switch. Open the choke. Turn the choke off. There we go. Cuts like butter, still cuts well. Uh, with all that water, I got a little muddier, uh, but didn't have all that dust flying in my face. So this is what it looks like without the water. And this is what it looked like with the water. So uh, make sure when you buy this that you also pick up a hose adapter to a, I think this is probably 3 8 inch. I got quarter inch and then just barely I had to rig it up a little bit to work, but it did work. And uh, probably gonna need to get some little clamps to put on as well, just to keep the water from popping off, kept popping off the other nozzle. So not a big deal. Uh, looking forward to using this, got a lot more block to cut. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.